welcome to welcome back to my channel for returning viewer or subscriber hey fam alam wait let me redo that i feel like i was just mumbling hey guys welcome to welcome back to my channel if you are a returning viewer or subscriber hey fam alam welcome back to the channel and if you are a new viewer or a new subscriber hey my name is dinelle uh, nice to meet you i hope you like it yeah nice to stay it's kind of nice over here now for my returning family members your girl your girl just came back okay it was recess it was recess and um i went home now before you attack me yes i didn't vlog anything back home but i went home but guys i was home the entire time so i was gonna end up filming and like i'm just gonna film me being at home the whole time mm -mm. i'm currently unpacking i reckon i am gonna vlog this weekend so i'm starting it today so please forgive me i promise you you didn't miss out on anything drastic or exciting like for y'all but yeah, i usually just personal life things going to see my family spending time with my family you know all that fun cute stuff the lighting but then now you guys are looking at me my wardrobe stand here better i think it's better so yeah i'm currently unpacking because your girl overpacks and she packed a lot of stuff that she just did not need to pack but she did anyways i didn't know but it's fine because it's it's happened like it's happened we're back now it's second term and yeah i need to take my shower i need to get dinner later on it's still a bit early it's past oh it's only 20 past one it's just that it looks so dark outside because of the weather it's very windy oh my days but yeah and then i need to quickly edit this try on fashion over channel haul so you guys can have a video today for me but last week sunday for you if i upload this on time but yeah let me quickly do that then we'll see what happens Good morning guys it is currently 9 24 yesterday i did end up getting my dinner i went to go get something at the nail scene but gonna lie i forgot to film i'm so sorry please do forgive me but i just spent like a good 24 minutes procrastinating whether or not i want to take my shower in the morning or if i want to take my shower at night because i took my shower last night which usually i take my shower in the morning I think I'm gonna take my shower because it's really gonna wake me up and then I have class at 10 about 10 past 10 so I have to be really fast and then I was thinking like what am I gonna eat because I don't have groceries here um but I think I'll eat like a packet of noodles and then we'll get something to eat later on because I literally I can't even make food uh which you guys actually haven't seen me do I'm actually wasting time because I should be getting I should go and take my shower because time is only going. I have, I have to get ready in 30 minutes. Get ready, eat and everything and be out in 30 minutes. I haven't even taken my shower. But I'm completely going to go do that. It is cold. Winter is upon us. The weather here in Stellenbosch is horrendous. The wind is so bad. I'm still yapping. I'm still talking. I can give you guys update later on. But yeah, let me quickly go shower. And then I have an assignment that's due today that I need to submit. I have to send in my Fashion Nova proposal today as well. Uh, what else do you need to do? I need to continue reading my English because I'm, I'm, I'm behind on that module. What else? Quick fast, what else? I just have to catch up. Oh my days, let me go take my shower. You don't need no Okay, so I was like rushing to get dressed and dip. Like I even had my bag, put on my lip gloss, my jewelry, everything. And then I got a message saying that our tut is online, which is awesome because it's supposed to be online, but for some reason it wasn't. And now it is. Oh, um, so. Apparently, this 
set up is for people that can't make it they can't make it to the physical class it's uh, class is gonna start in three minutes in two minutes should i just attend this one because if i go now i'm gonna be late i'm gonna be so late Okay, I'll I'll attend this one online, and then we'll we'll still leave right after. Our class is later on though, like three hours later. Um, so we'll go to the library and work there. Cause I can't leave now. One minute, one minute that my class starts. Like, I'm not about to rush. Meantime, I can just attend here. So, yeah, I'm gonna attend this one. And then we'll go to the library after. That means I rushed for what? Anyways. Constitution of the nation states, right? Which in itself is a European concept that was. Okay, the, uh, the lesson is over. It was relatively short. He was kind of just giving us an outline on what this term what this term's module is gonna look like and stuff i am going to head out to the library now because i have that assignment that's due tonight and apparently i'm seeing on the group that people are saying uh some word says due at 5 p.m people are like no it says due at 11:59. I checked the thing, it said 11.59, but I don't know why people are saying 5 p.m. So I'm just going to try to get this thing done and submit it even before 5. Um, why does it, is this thing flipped? Mm, it's flipped, right? Yeah, that's how I from. Yeah, so I am going to work on it at the library. I'm going to head out now. And we're gonna grind. I just have a lot of work I need to do, anyways. And then we're gonna do the whole fashion over thingy. I'm gonna like kind of talk to you guys about like what the fuck is going on with my fashion sense because I'm kind of in a weird space right now. But yeah, let's let's leave. Let's leave Riz and be outside and be academic warriors. And I need to finish up editing the fashion overhaul it's very chaotic it's so chaotic as i was editing yesterday because i was trying to have it like completely edited and up yesterday by seven but i just couldn't so i'm gonna upload it today monday um it's very chaotic so if you've watched it you really know what i'm talking about it's not like very put together but you know what it's content it's a video if someone enjoys it if, if even only one person enjoys it then it's something you know so yeah i'm gonna have that up today i'm gonna also also gonna work on that at the library so that we have it up um yeah i'm pretty much done editing it to really go over it one more time and watch it entirely and then as for this vlog you guys will get this the end of this week so i'm um, Gonna, I'm actually gonna try, not try, I'm going to edit as I'm filming as opposed to editing all the footage um, at the end of the week. But yeah, let's go and get shit done. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease. So like I'm wearing um these new balances for the first time and the weather that I chose to 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 wear them in I'm so sorry shoes but like I obviously like I won't do the most and like walk in mud and stuff like that but shame man yeah remember how I was telling you guys about how bad the weather here has been like it's been windy as frick and um yeah it's been okay it's been raining but that's like normal there have been some storms so that's probably not as normal but it's been really 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 windy and if I had remembered I would have shown you guys in one of the staircases at my res the um, what's this winder a winder 
the window shattered like absolutely shattered and there's glass all over the stairs and it's just so crazy i don't want to walk on this mud um but yeah dude the weather's just really bad uh well i mean it was right now it's calm it's just cloudy winter is definitely upon us do i have to fold my surely i don't have to fold my jeans yeah i don't have to because it's wet outside i don't want to have the bottom of my jeans be soaked and dirty think about how bad the weather is there's really only so much one can say without rambling on and on about the weather but yeah it's just bad as for right now it's nice it's calm it's just cloudy i actually like this i welcome winter with open arms i just need to make sure that the fits that i have adequate fits but anyways i feel like i'm rambling now um i have a feeling this vlog, blah, 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 this vlog is gonna be a very talkative vlog i don't know i think let's just try that approach as if i don't talk in my other vlogs but like i'm gonna just ramble here guys because why not i think when i get back to the library i'm gonna retie my head my head scarf i don't think i don't i'm not really happy with the way i tied it and when i tied it i was in a rush i could have tied it before leaving you know after the class after the online class but i'll just tie it when i'm at the library i'll go to the bathroom a squirrel did you guys see there it is squirrel yeah i packed my umbrella just in case it rains because i'll be damned i'm gonna be caught up in the rain i ain't doing that but yeah okay that's enough rambling the mirror i would have filmed but there is like i'm a germaphobe if you don't know and bathrooms have so much germs so i wasn't trying to put my phone anywhere other than my hand but yeah i've tied it i've tied it let me flip the camera around yes yeah, see i should have realized what it looked like before it didn't look bad it looks a lot better now. This just looks better. Most of the things I don't want to say. I won't be around like you say. You'll try to come back. this cookie that I got on the on the flight yesterday that I didn't eat that I'm gonna eat now this one. I'm starting to feel hungry I think I'll get like something to eat after this lecture because my hunger's loading when I get hungry I get cranky and that's not gonna be fun for anyone Hey, I lost my train of 
I cannot endorse such behavior. I'm joking, I'm joking. I cannot endorse such behavior. I'm still looking for it. Sometimes you have to spread your own motivation. At the end of the day, we all do Wow, that is so. Um, you guys know where my office is. Do you guys want to say hi? Hello. Hi. Hello. Do you know it? Yes. I know it. Hey, boy. Let's have a. We're on our way to the library. Uh, well, to be at the library. You're also going to the library. I'm going to the library. You're also going to. Oh, you're also going to the library. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. We're going, okay, we're going to the library to continue being academic uh, people, and, and then afterwards, uh, Letabo mm. is going to write. Yes. Yeah. Tvway. All the best. And I are going. <laughs> yes. We are going Devour. to get our course and then go and chow wow wow. Mm. We are. Classes are done. Thank goodness. This weather is still um wet. No, no. Yeah, it's wet. wet. Okay, so I'm back at Brez. I got my food. My phone literally died, by the way. Like, my phone died. And luckily, by the time it died, I had reached Rez. I had reached Rez. And I saw the, um... And then I saw the Mr. D delivery guy, like, who should be standing. So I was able to get my food. I was like, hi! so sorry my phone died it's like i've been waiting here for i'm like i'm sorry i'm sorry but yeah i'm so hungry i've changed as you can see and i'm gonna continue watching dune because that is what i'm currently watching yeah i'm gonna watch that and i'm gonna chow i'm so hungry guys i haven't eaten since that packet of noodles in the morning eventually so first of all i just well not just like 30 or so minutes ago i finished watching dune i finished watching dune let me put on the lights it's a bit dark it's a bit dark it's gonna be so bright yeah mm, don't mind how i look 30 or so minutes ago mm, probably more than that because i just watched a 30 minute youtube video but I finished watching Dune Part 2. That movie franchise is just... It's amazing. It's too good. Everything about it is just so... Mm. And there's this thing that I do that I've noticed. Like, if I really... In, either if I really enjoy a movie or it just leaves me, like, so gobsmacked. And I'm just like, what did I just watch? I'll always go on YouTube and, like, watch, like like breakdowns or like walkthroughs or like reviews kind of of the movies and i did that for dune too and obviously i'll be reading the comments as well because i'm not about to just go off of what one person saying as in the speaker of the video so i go through the comments i'm like yeah i also thought that and i'm liking things you know and that movie so good so if you haven't watched it please watch it like watch it it's too good but yeah and then um i went to go and check how the whole video upload is going and it's uploaded it's processed and stuff but it's currently half past eight it's half past eight who's gonna watch a youtube video at this time 
that was so rude of my storage tell me why like my phone storage just like caught me caught me off he said no babe you don't have the storage for all the yapping i said okay and uh but to be fair i had like a bunch of footage on my phone that's that i've already edited but i have another assignment due on wednesday and i haven't started and it's a rather lengthy assignment so i think i'm going to somewhat start it tonight and then continue with it tomorrow proper grinding and stuff uh the only other modules that i need to catch up on are english in terms of like reading novels which is fine i'll do that but i need to do it proper like fast because i have a test i think next week monday so it's okay it's fine also guys this chat on haul is 22 minutes long i think i might actually have a problem because why are my videos so long like why is the try on haul of how many items what like 12 items why is it 22 minutes long why are my videos bore one okay no but the last video is one hour 34 because i promised i was going to give you guys a movie i gave you guys a movie the one before that one hour eight minutes though and then the, the two okay and then the one before that was my hair so it was 13 minutes the one before that 43 minutes that the last long one was 51 minutes i think i might have a problem because why my videos so long if you guys would like shorter videos let me know <laughs> let me know i'll make them shorter i'll make them shorter i'll try my best my hardest i say i don't intend to make my videos long they just end up being long i think it's also because when i do like weekly vlogs i literally vlog the entire week so it's like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday sometimes uh, guys it's about to be 12. i don't know why i'm waking up the way i am yeah but oh that sleep slept i think i even had several dreams i woke up to my alarms and i switched them off and i went back to sleep and here we are my one class was cancelled so we didn't have the 8 a.m or the 9 a.m and then i'm not going to my 11 a.m because they read off the slides and I can do that. Hey, wait, I just went to use the bathroom and came back. Why was I lying through my teeth? It's not about to be tall. I don't I don't I don't understand where that came from. It's about to be it's half past half past uh, half past ten. The dream I had was so interesting. There were several dreams. But basically the gist of it is My family and I were at an Airbnb, it was a really nice Airbnb. My friends were even there, or like my old friends, like friends that I used to have in high school. And then, I don't know, it was, we were celebrating something, but they, we weren't celebrating me, but then they came to the Airbnb that my family was at. There was an ocean, there was a pool. People were fighting. There were some love interests. It was crazy fun. It was an interesting dream. I think that's why I kept on sleeping. Like I knew I was supposed to be waking up. I knew I was supposed to wake up. But I was like, nah, cause this is this is eating. I put some ice on you cause you gotta call. Huh? I know I gotta keep my shorty on the go go.
was out at the top and the bottom. Now you want to shoot with your head in the bottom. You know I like when you ride at the top. Hopefully, we don't have to Felt like my vision lit bigger than a bigger picture. Remember, I deleted all my other girls' numbers out the phone for you. Taking my break, it's a little bit past seven. I'm having good morning biscuits. Um, I packed these from Rays. But yeah, the assignment is coming along okay. I've done a quarter. And I've still got like three hours here. So by the time it reaches 10, I should have at least done half. Not even, more than half. It's starting to drizzle. I even put my hood up, well, somewhat. And I'm done with my good morning biscuits. So I'm heading back into the library. I was out here for like maybe like 15 or so minutes. Just calm, but it's time the grind must continue. So let's go and finish. Well I don't know about finish, but let's go and continue with this assignment. I look like a glazed donut. I look like I put Vaseline on my face. I look like I'm sweating. But it's my sunscreen. Let's go work. I used to always try and bring the CD hours later. You be like, who's this? I be like, me, girl. You be like, oh, word, true shit. Then ask if we can listen to Ludacris. Car rides made me feel like I was losing it. Hello, hi, guys. I'm back. Yeah. My pajamas and I'm back at res. My hair's out. The scarf is off. I was watching The Good Doctor. I'm on season six. The last time I watched it, I watched everything. I think it was like maybe two, three years ago. So then during the break, uh, recess, when I was back home, I got back into it and then I watched an entire season in like two days, season five. Now I'm watching the last season that's out right now, season six. I am awake. I'm awake. It's past nine. I'm gonna go shower. You know the drill. So I went to class. I didn't film anything while I was in it because I was late and I ended up forgetting to like insert a little clip of me at last. But now I'm going to the library because your girl has that assignment that's due later on today. And she's just about almost done. But it's time to actually be done and submit it. Shut the fuck up. Hey, no bitch. Shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend. Shut the fuck up. Hey. You know I love it when you got dirty. Messy.
Several hours have passed. How am I gonna do this? Several hours have done my measure. Several hours have passed since uh maybe like two, two or so hours. Okay, here's a bonnet, right? I'm trying to see how I wanna get beanies. Is this one moving? No. I wanna get beanies. Because it's 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 it the, the, the weather's getting colder, you know, summer is out the window, it's now kinda autumn and then it's gonna be winter. And obviously I'm gonna be dressing like, you know, bow hoodies, jackets, you know, all of those. And I thought like, you know, now that I have a locks and stuff, even though you can wear beanies without locks, but like now that I have locks and stuff, like beanies would be a fun way to like accessorize my head. Obviously this is not how the beanies gonna look like. But I was kind of just like, I'll probably wear like what here. Obviously, won't have that. I don't know. Um, would would a beanie look cool on my head? I know this looks dumb. It just looks like my shirt is dirty and it isn't. It was burnt by the iron. Look how long it makes my hair. I mean, it doesn't make my hair long, but like because it's like pushing my hair down. And this is a lot tighter than a beanie would be. I've been I've been trying to stretch this thing out it's too tight but i don't want to cut the elastic inside so i was thinking this is where it's been like the past um couple of days it's been on this chair and stretching it out so that the elastic is not so stretchy and it's been here for the past two days has anything changed no not really but anyways i received packages well a package I received wigs. Yeah. From Shein. And I need to film content for them. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because this thing's like. It's creating a light on my face. Am I tripping? It is, no? Anyways, I don't know how I'm going to do this because they sent me two wigs. And they want content for both. But usually. Usually I film one wig per weekend because I find the weekend is the best time for me to knock out wig content because then I can install it the one day and then take pictures the next or install it on Sunday and take it. And if I like how it looks, I just wear it for the week. The boxes are in horrible condition. They've gone through a lot, eh? But uh from what i remember these wigs are relatively short and not really lock friendly which i'm very scared about because as you can tell i have starter locks and i usually opt for the curly long wigs because then even if it's bulky underneath the cap it doesn't jump this up but both of these wigs are relatively short like this one is in 14 inches that's not long at all. And then this one is in. It doesn't say how many inches. It's just that it's a straight wig, which is scary because, you know? Yep. You know the drill, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm awake, I'm awake. Don't worry about what time it is. Don't worry about what time it is. I'm awake and I've been awake, okay? Don't worry about the time. I laid my bed. I'm gonna go take my shower. And then we have class at two. Don't worry about the time. So that I'm awake. We have things to get done, okay? Okay. So guys, I'm about to let you in on something that I have, that I started yesterday, but Today's the first, don't mind my appearance. Today's the first day that I'm actually doing it. So you know how I have two phones? I have the other phone I'm filming on and my old phone. Um, so I installed Hinge and my, I look very, I installed Hinge and Tinder on this phone. And basically it's not for me to match with people. I installed it so that I could give guys um, advice and opinions on how 
to either improve their profile so they get more matches or I'm gonna give them my solicited opinion on what vibe their profile is giving and you know what type of girls they may be attracting and if and like asking them what their type is and whether or not their uh, like their profile aligns in a way that will attract the type of girls that they want I look so dry um and so I want to show you guys my profile I have just finished sending like three like five minute voice notes to three different guys that wanted my opinion don't worry I'm not actually just giving my unsolicited opinion it's a thing of if you match with me you went through my profile and you want my opinion you know but let me show you guys my profile on hinge so bar this is how my profile here looks let me flip the, the camera okay so it's called d's guidance this is the first picture you know oh i'm so sweet so cute ah you know just so you can see what it is that i look like you know and stuff very cute photo and then here's the voice note that i have on my the daily essential thingy Okay, in order to make this very simple for the both of us, please, when you do send me the like thing and then we match on here, I need you to like send the first text if you didn't leave a comment, either saying what it is that you want, as in like what advice or like what it is you're looking for, what type of input you're looking for, then we can take it from there. Don't expect me to send you a message. Like, come on, guys. Please make it simple for the both of us. Thank you yep and then we have this unusual skills want to know what you may be doing wrong in terms of your profile setup wondering why you're not getting as many matches as you'd like i'm your girl then obviously i put my details here just so that they can see the type of girl that they would be asking opinions for then i just have advice a uh, cool dog and then i'm convinced that guys either assume their dating profiles look cool when they when really they look like they've been approved by other guys unless you swing that way and that's your intention your profile could probably use a bit of tweaking once again the whole advice thingy and then you should leave a comment if you want an unfiltered opinion of what your account looks like from a girl's perspective because not a lot of guys get that and they think their their profiles are so cool when really they aren't um and then just once again another picture of me um but yeah it's day one of me doing this profile thing i have this profile and i also have a profile on tinder and basically on tinder because it works differently from hinge so hinge i only send likes if i feel like your profile needs help and then you can decide whether or not you want to match with me whereas on tinder i just swipe right on everyone and excuse me if they swipe right on me and we match and that's because they want my opinion or my advice I'm gonna show you guys my uh, profile on Tinder as well. Let me show you. Once again, the same photo, same name. Um, let's see. My biggest, oh, about me. Ever wondered what girls thought of your dating profile? Wanted to know where you may be going wrong or how to improve your account's appeal. No need to wonder because I've come to save you. Swiping right on all profiles. So if you want my insight, just shoot me a text on what exactly you want help with slash are curious about. I'm not looking here to date, lol. I'm here to guide you and to make sure I put that because I'm a fine girl. People will want to match with me. Come on now. Uh, once again, oh, my work is a fixer upper at help you match. <laughs> <laughs> lol my biggest red flag is i won't hesitate to tell it to you as it is in this case it's probably the biggest green flag and then i'm a grown-up also me tell me the type of girl you're looking for slash wants to attract and we'll see how to adjust your profile in order to attract her my hidden talent is uh you want solicited advice on a girl you're talking to or what's to text her to make a good first impression i might be able to help you and then, yeah, I said looking for new friends, if anything, because I'm not here to look for a potential person. Then just a bunch of, like, things, you know? But, yeah. It's currently, uh, like, 22 to 2. I have class at 2. Oh, I think I'm going to, like, I don't know if I'm going to tie my hair up. I'm going to, like, do my lips, put on my jewelry, put on my shoes, and start getting ready to go. Then we can continue this. Or I'll continue this again later on. I'll keep you guys updated in the coming videos as to how this little side job is going. A job that I'm not getting paid for. I'm basically doing charity work. I'm trying to help these these oaks out. 
But y'all, see if you see my profile on here and you want help, you know what to do. Come on. So windy. Can we talk about how there was a whole eclipse and it's like no one in South Africa saw it. All we got was crazy winds and shitty weather. I'm so mad. Oh. So I'm back at Res. I just refilled my water bottle. I checked the poster for this Easter egg thingy and see that it's it. It's at Eastern Bosch. So I'm gonna go drop off my bag and then meet with Claire Tavo and we're gonna head over there. It's like 25 past five. I think it's at half past five. So I have like two minutes. We can just go drop my things off. But that's literally gonna take a minute. I'm sure I'm gonna be there right now. And then we're gonna go and um, go to this Easter egg thingy. I think it'll be cute. I'm not like, I want chocolate. She just witnessed the most atrocious thing. A couple displaying affection in the form of exchanging saliva and it was so slow <laughs> <laughs> so we have to try and find the golden easter eggs and you're not limited to how many eggs you can find but another one i'm so convinced there aren't any left because everywhere i'm looking it's very very empty i found four the second golden egg apparently is somewhere out here well i'm not finding it okay the easter egg hunt has ended but here i am holding on to a little bit of hope that i have hoping that like i come across even just one egg guys one but i don't know i think it's finito i think all the eggs have probably been found wrap it up and go and enjoy my four eggs It's good to win. Well, I didn't win, but I did get 40 cents for free. In my books, that's winning. Two hours later. So, oh, guys, guys, I'm watching Anela's video, but I'm watching her video. Don't mind how I look. Nah. And she's at the part where she's leaving home to go back to uni, to NMU in the northern cape and she's also from pretoria and guys she's crying uh, she just left her mom and it's reminding me of how absolutely shattered i was i don't even think i even mentioned it in any of my vlogs last year oaks last year was my first year first year first year it was my first year here at Stellenbosch. The heat is also if you hear a noise, that's what it is. Please don't mind the chaos there. Don't mind it. But yeah, last year was my first year here. And I went back home. You see this break that we just had, this recess, that week break. I went back home. And 
um at the end of the recess when it was time to come back guys the way i cried at the airport i was standing there with my mom and my twin brother and guys i was crying like i did not want to come back i was on some mom i want to transfer back you know it's so funny because when i was here everything's like fine. it was hard like it was hard being away from like my family and my friends and like my whole life day back in pretoria but once i was back home and i was reminded of how great it is being surrounded by all of all the things that are so familiar to you and like all your family and like your friends and stuff oh i wasn't trying to leave that and come back here and basically be alone but that was what like three months into me being three or so months of me being here like i didn't really even really have a routine i was still you know making friends and stuff and like i would say i had a, oh i had or slash have a hard time making friends it's just it's quite a process for me to like open up and for me to just find my people and it, it was a process last year and you know when i was back you know i was able to see my friends back home and just all of these things that i'm just so familiar with and like just leaving all of that to come back here yo guys like being at the airport at that time it had me rethink all my decisions had me regretting choosing coming to Stellenbosch had me regretting choosing to go to university so far from home it was just it was a lot yeah I was saying I remember like talking to my mom being like no mom I want to transfer back can I please transfer to university closer to home I want to be in Pretoria or it's how thing like I'm not trying to be in a whole other province like it's too hard I can't do it so yeah, I'm busy watching Anele and she's yeah, and she's so emotional and she's so sad and she doesn't want to leave her her home and her family and her friends and I'm like, yo, oh, that's so real. Guys, listen, it's so real. Obviously, I'm looking for Vaseline. My lips are dry. This isn't like a standard um, experience that everyone will have, but I just need to, to like bear that in mind when you are deciding whether or not you want to move to a different province a different country a different state or a different you know town or whatever if you do plan on moving away from home and it's quite a distance like a flight away just bear in mind that it's not gonna be easy it's not gonna be easy yes there's that excitement of you know trying something new and really finding yourself and you know just becoming your own person there's also the hardships of like having to do that without the support of your community right there to back you up. Like, yes, they're supporting you, but they're supporting you from a distance. And that distance is so defeating at times because like you'll have those hard days where you just want to be held, where you just want to cry, where you just want to just want to feel the support, like feel it. And you can't feel that when you're thousands and thousands of kilometers away from people that really actually know you like when you go to a new space no one knows you no one knows about your habits your little your little things about you you know how you deal with certain stuff and 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 like you just you feel so alone but with that warning or that precaution of me like saying like hey like hey keep that in mind it is hard <sighs> tough times never last they don't last it might feel like it's going to last forever but nothing truly ever really lasts forever no struggle lasts forever um as long as you remind yourself of why you wanted to move away why this is a great opportunity why you know you should be counting your blessings and really appreciate the fact that you have this opportunity an opportunity that not a lot of people very few people actually have like do you know how many people wish they could attend university not even attend a university in another province in another country in another uh what's the city just attend a university you know how much of a blessing and how much of an opportunity that is for starters to 
make ends meet that you can that you are able to go to another state another university another province another country whatever that may be like the fact that you are you are safe that you are healthy that your family and your loved ones are safe and healthy the fact that you have all of these like opportunities to really discover who you are and like i had to remind myself like even when it was hard that growing up can be so hard but everyone grows up at some point like you were going to move away from home at some point you were gonna have to figure out how to do this life thing alone at some point like there wasn't there isn't gonna be someone to hold your hand 100% of the time the entire time like you were gonna have to find your own feet and grasp how it is living in the real world alone now granted being university and living in res or private accommodation but like being in university in general and having that whole routine it is you are kind of still sheltered from like real the real world there are struggles that come with it but it's kind of like that stage before you're actually in the real world and i think if you do have the opportunity to move away and to go and attend a university in another province another country another blah, 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 if you think you can handle it and you know eventually you do want to move you don't plan on living in the same country the same city your entire life for the rest of your life i'd say take it honestly i'd say take it you, there's just so much that comes with moving away from home there's so much growth there's so many learning opportunities there's so many experiences you could experience that you might not have been able to experience had you stayed in your home city or your hometown and stuff but yeah i feel like i could just go on and on and on and on about this but i felt like i just need to come and talk about it because i didn't talk about it in any of my vlogs last year i don't think so i really i can't think of i can't i don't think i excuse me i don't think i did but yeah like i feel for her i wish i could just hug her right now i'm actually gonna text her right after filming this or like even call her just be like girl i'm hugging you my heart hurts just seeing her in so much distress and like she just guys when i tell you i was literally going to the freaking admin a to go and figure out if i can transfer i'm so serious i was serious about transferring and then i came back to Riz and i was like you know the first week was hard second week was a little bit less hard but by the third week i was like oh okay no it's fine <sighs> like it's not horrible here i just really missed home you know yeah but anyways um i will see you guys tomorrow today is eva tomorrow's friday our one class has been cancelled so so far we have two classes i don't yeah we have a tutorial at 10 and then class at 12 so yeah we have that to do tomorrow see you guys tomorrow okay i'm dressed i tied my hair it's i have to live in three minutes it's 37 past nine cast off the 10 past 10 past 10 so if I leave in three minutes or less, that would give me ten minutes to make it to class, which I can do, which I can do. So yeah, let's go. I don't know what to have for breakfast. Obviously, breakfast has to be on the go. Do I have a muffin or do I get breakfast from the news? Or do I have a muffin and then get lunch from the news? I think that's only like a better plan. Look how cute my fit is. I just put on this jersey. And I have my Crocs on. Look how cute. It's giving Pinterest. Okay, let's go to class. Gotten my food, the table, and I have departed. We've gone our separate ways. He's gone back to res because he's done for the day. I have a class in like 25 minutes. That's how much time I also have to eat my food. Um, but yeah, I'm sitting outside 
not where I initially planned to sit. At the place where I planned to sit, there wasn't any open spaces. Well, there was, but I was gonna have to like open these sit next to all the other nerds. And I have this big straw that is typically used for milkshakes or boba because they didn't have normal straws. So a straw is a straw. Oh, did you hear that sound? I think it's a joke. Um, I'm deciding to call this brunch, even though it's not 12 yet, but it's fine, it's brunch. Okay, I'm done eating. Whoa, what's going on with my physical appearance? I'm done eating and I'm on my way to my tut. My last academic attending of the day. Um, yeah, so let's go. Being black within the Stella Bush community, um, you know that you're not accepted, kind of thing. You kind of ask yourself, what's wrong with me? Like, what did I do wrong? And to a point where you, in the beginning, I actually started to assimilate, you know, wanting to lose myself and, you know, attain whiteness. So maybe this will work better and they will accept me more because I'm trying to be like them. Within this university, is that they are willing to safeguard their language policy, but they're not willing to safeguard black students. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Don't mind my appearance. We we already used to this by now. I'm currently making breakfast. What am I making? Wheat bakes, and I'm adding uh, peanut butter just for that little, you know. Okay, so I just finished eating, and I was checking out these two wigs. I was partially stressed about how the frick I'm gonna get them to stay on my head under like these locks on top of these locks if they don't have a band i didn't go check they both have bands thank goodness because that like brings my stress from like a 90 to like a 75 now i just need to plan out my day it's currently it's 11 on the dot um what am i gonna do first okay okay i rate i take my shower mm, i'm looking grabby i rate i take my shower and then i get ready and film the content for one video while i'm filming that i'll listen to english that way i'm kind of like knocking two birds with one stone in a way edit it send it through for approval and then edit this video with all the stress i think i'm gonna do that okay i'm currently installing one of the wigs i think i'll do one today i might even do the other one tomorrow because i don't think i'm gonna want to keep this on for fancies but i attempted to pluck because the hairline was so dense but it kind of looks weird kind of so i'm stopping and i'm going to install it now i'll show you guys when i'm done installing and then i think i'll show you guys when i'm done styling as well the tub was here to visit us she's saying i'm giving american i'm so open you come bearing gifts how many are you gonna give me i don't like muffins that much how many do you want <laughs> you're gonna have to. Okay, give me the rest. Did you bathe? Yeah. Mm. So you know how I'm done, like installing. Now I'm gonna like style it and film that as well. Most of it is gone now. I had like two wraps with garlic butter spread on both sides. Put that in the air fryer for like 15 minutes on one side. Then I flip it in 15 minutes on the other side. And the result is this. And it's so tasty. Mm. 
Okay, I'm finally done. This is how I ended up styling the hair. Cute, ne? Isn't it so cute? Let me put you guys on the tripod. Oh, wow. Just, I mean, not the tripod, the ring light. Okay, that's better. Do you guys lock? This was, a, the wig was a struggle. I was very annoyed. I don't know if it was the wig. No, it was the wig because I had to pluck it. And then I thought I was plucking wrong. And then I had to do edges. And the edges weren't edging. But it's fine. Because now we're done. Um, I want to go and get dinner. But I reckon, I think I can close the video off here, guys. Because eh? I know after I eat, I'm going to be editing this video. So you guys can get it tomorrow. How am I going to do that? I don't know. But I'll try my best. Even if I don't sleep. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Do you think I'm fine? I think I'm a cute babe. <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And comment what type of videos you guys want from me. Like, because the last thing I want is for the videos on my channel to become repetitive, actually. So if you have any videos that you'd like to see from me that I can film, leave them in the comment section down below. If you see a comment that you are going to comment but you like and you would like that video as well, like the comment so I can see who they okay you want this and I can you know try my best to give it to you and stuff. But yeah, okay, let me go and get my food before they say dinner time is over and then I don't have dinner. Do you guys want me to starve? I didn't think so. Go get my food. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah! Sleep, nigga, 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 nigga